you shouldn't be buying new Max. they're a joke, it's all inflated. There's someone out there that's going to pay the money for that stuff. And that's just the brass tax of it. Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, in this video, we went to Rural Coins Houston again. Uh, they had a lot of nice stuff. Um, so we just want to show you guys everything that we got, uh, give you guys a perspective of what we're buying, and uh, something new that we bought today, which we normally don't buy, but uh, it's adding to our personal stack, quote unquote. So uh, let me take this inside and show you guys some other cool stuff that we got in this week. Hey guys, made it to Lightbox, and I want to talk about a few things, a few housekeeping items before we continue. Uh, at the shop today, I did buy some gold, and you can check it out right here. This is uh, one ounce Cougaran. Uh, uh, we've been talking about adding stacks um, in terms of silver and bullion, and also numismatics to our uh, our portfolio. Me, me and my brother. Um, and so I've been getting a lot of comments lately saying, Drew, like, uh, you're buying uh, 10 ounces of silver, which is like, you know, they're, they're equating numismatics to silver. You're buying 10 ounces of silver for 3200 bucks, or you, you're doing all this stuff, and um, it's a joke. And, and silver, you should be buying bullion, and you should be selling bullion. Like, the thing about it that, that's different, and something that you should realize with yourself is that, there's a market for both. There's a market for bullion. There's a mar market for numismatics. There's a market for Kobe Bryant, uh, baseball or basketball cards. There's a market for everything. And just because I don't agree with it or I don't like it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. And so it's kind of strange to get comments these days like, you shouldn't be buying numismatics. They're a joke. It's all inflated. There's someone out there that's going to pay the money for that stuff. And that's just the brass tax of it. And I like selling numismatics. It's what got me in, intrigued in the business. And that's just something that's on my heart. And that's something that I like to do. I want to be the, one of the best coin dealers in the market. And, and so follow what you like to do. And, and what I would say to people that are actually striving to be better and not sitting in a corner and judging people is, is go after it and, and not care what people think. Like address the people that do that and say, you know, there are things that we all want to focus on, and you're not going to be the ultimate judge of it. So it's just something I wanted to say and get out of the way for you guys. I know it was a f little bit long of a, a talking intro, but if you guys are interested in our next video that's coming out, we are talking about true views. Um, are they worth it for you when you're sending in coins to PCGS? Is it worth your time to do it? Um, will that $5 make money for you or will that $5 give you more of a bit of benefit in terms of value? Um, we will be discussing all of that in the next video. So make sure you guys subscribe um, and watch out for that video. It's going to be a good one. whole bunch of great coins coming in from uh, a collector. So you'll, you'll want to see it. But we're going back to the video. We're talking about uh, great coins that we got from our friends Christy and Blake down at Rural Coins Houston. Uh, we got a few commems here. Um, this is the 1935D uh, Texas commemorative half dollar. Um, I picked these up because I've been I've been buying and selling a lot of Morgan dollars, and that's kind of where I started in the space. Um, but it's been it's progressed since then. It's actually evolved a lot, and um, people have been asking me about Stanley Liberty quarters. People have been asking me about um, just different things that. Uh, caught my attention and things that I actually haven't considered buying before. So I bought this Texas commemorative. Um, did pretty well with it. Um, I actually asked a collector if they were interested in it, and they were uh, up to bat, and they they bought it pretty quick. Um, it's a it's a flashy coin on the uh, the obverse, but I think on the reverse 
it really killed it. It's kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit faded, and I think there's also uh, some fingerprints as well, which kind of take away from the grade. But a stunning example. Um, I don't think I think a 35D is a little bit more of a tougher date as well. So um, just something I had to pick up, had to try, and it ended up panning out well. And that's kind of how uh, you progress as a coin dealer. Progress as someone that is wanting to get better in the space that you're in. Uh, start to evolve, learn more things, um, give yourself the ability to fail. I think that's super important. Um, and so I've failed on a lot of coins, but I've also succeeded on a lot of coins, which has surprised me. So that's something that you uh, should consider in, in coins or in something else that you think is your hobby or passion that you want to pursue. Um, this is a San Diego 1935 uh, San Francisco. Uh, it, it, it's great at Gem State for a, a good reason. I think the luster is Gem State. Um, I think that what really killed it from a higher grade is you're going to see kind of a scratch here. Um, uh, until the, right beneath San Diego and there's a little bit of hits in the fields but like I said again the luster is very strong on the coin um, I think that luster does carry a lot of uh, a lot of its its weight uh, when you when you consider all things and also when you put in the light right here you can see those fingerprints as well the fingerprints uh, do really take take it away from getting those higher echelon grades 66 67 um, uh, graders really see these as spots that are of problems and I didn't really know that too long in the numismatic space but I had a friend that sells uh, high-end coins and he was pretty honest with me and he says if there's a fingerprint on a coin um, expect them to downgrade it some so just something you guys should uh, understand consider um, maybe take the mental notes of when you're buying a coin maybe for an upgrade um, but I would say this coin all day long is a, is a 65 I don't think it could go higher um, but hey everybody wanted to take a quick break in the video to thank all of our loyal supporters on our website uh, we got a bunch of orders this weekend uh, GSA QQ dates tone coins the whole lot as you can see it's just you know 15 orders pretty much and we couldn't thank you guys enough uh, the reason why I tell you guys about that are really is because there there are people that literally buy OGHs there's people that literally learn how to grade the coin um, and not the holder and so people all day long will just nitpick the coin nitpick the coin nitpick the coin and they'll do that to 50 coins and out of the 50 coins they might crack out three send them to NGC or PCGS and um, they'll get them reevaluated and they'll get them uh, in different holders possibly it's all really about their knowledge versus the graders knowledge and some people see that as a problem but I see that as something of uh, maybe they got it wrong the first time. Uh, human error is something uh, that we, we all are uh, fall short of. And uh, with, with PCGS and NGC, um, a lot of these coins are graded by three different graders. And um, they all, they all kind of have to come to an agreement or two of them have to kind of move on the side of the agreement. And they, they all serve different roles in terms of grading. Um, but like I said... They're, they're very experienced coin dealers, they're very experienced graders, and that's kind of something that completely altered the space forever. And that's kind of why we've been giving out information that we've we've been proud to say is, is worth it to you as a viewer, because um, we feel that for the numismatic space, you know, uh, coin grading um, as a whole, I think, has been beneficial because people can now put a grade, people can now put a face to... Uh, a name, you know, a Morgan dollar, what what grade would this be uh, back then, like like you've probably read. There's a whole lot of different, I think it's a 65, I think it's a 67, I think it's a this and that. Um, but once you start, once you start giving people more information, once you start giving people more insight, once you start giving people more um, of a way to authenticate their coins, um, that's that's been the most pivotal change in the numismatic space. Um since since the coin itself uh, putting this plastic here telling you what the grade is giving you information knowledge uh, values that's something that's altered the space and what's really kept people I intrigued but what's really turned people off as well is that uh, back in the day someone would sell you a clean coin and they know it was clean or people you know, they'd sell you an artificial coin and they know it's artificial those people turn so many people off from the coin space that people lose thousands and 
tens of thousands of dollars because of the lack of knowledge. And so once you start bringing all this knowledge out uh, to the forefront, um, people start to become more engaged. People start to say, okay, I can understand this. Okay, I can get accustomed to this. Okay, I can get a grasp on this. And um, that's something that, that we want to strive for because the more people that know more things about the coin space will ultimately benefit the hobby in the long term, but also benefit each other. You know, uh, I have different customers for different coin dealers. I have different customers for different collectors that uh, try to specialize for a few people that they that they know. So we all have a certain role to play um, in the space. And uh, sorry for the little tangent, but I wanted to tell you guys that because it's really been on my heart and my mind, and uh, I hope it blesses you. But this 78 cc is pretty nice. Uh, it's it's circulated, but uh, since the cc's have been shooting up so so crazy lately, many of these are f you know 550, 600 in mint state. Um, offering something that's a little bit more affordable is something that like like we're trying to do and strive for is is important to us. And it was a nice white coin, and uh, I hope it blesses somebody here shortly when we uh, when we sell it. So uh, let me show you guys this next coin. Uh, back to uh, trying to find a hole and keep the hole for somebody uh, you know we, we we buy 83s and we end up selling it and then we end up going to Blake and Christie again and ask them for another 83s because um, giving people an opportunity to to buy this coin because uh, they know that we have it is, is super important for us very uh, very vital to keeping people uh, up to date and knowledgeable about what we have and um, that's something that you guys, uh, as maybe as you expand in, in, in your space that you're in or in the coin space, um, that's going to become uh, very useful to you because uh, when people call, they know that you'll be able to offer them something. So that's that's something that will help you sleep better at night and have money working for you. So uh, wonderful coin as well. Uh, my favorite coin of the batch, though, is this 1881cc. Uh, and the reason being is, is you're going to see in a moment the luster is... It's very beautiful on the coin. Um, it's almost blinding luster, um, and many people when when I uh, you know when I post stuff on Facebook or Instagram or uh, post stuff on our website, many people are looking for 100% blast white coins. Um, many people are on the hunt for coins that uh, you know match what they feel um, is worthy to them as. Uh, a beautiful uh, specimen and many many dealers and many many customers and clients love blast white coins because it gives them that feel of originality gives them that feel of uh, very beautiful uh, premium quality uh, pieces and so I like this coin because it's a little bit harder of a date and it has that that booming luster that many people fell in love with when they when they came into the space so uh, we're going to be sending all these coins off uh, to new homes shortly, and this one actually sold before we can make the video for it. So, uh, just a stunning example, but if you guys are ever interested in something like that, um, or any other coins that you might see in any of our other videos, please make sure to check out uh, our YouTube channel, not our YouTube channel, our website, AcousiaCollectibles.com. Uh, we update it uh, weekly, try to give you guys uh, the best coins that we, we can find. Um, it's been pretty hard to find inventory lately, um, but we're we're trying to keep on top of that for you guys. Um, up next, we're going to be breaking down a little bit more of what we've been finding um, in terms of online, and uh, maybe and a few of our viewers actually sent in some stuff as well that I wanted to show you guys. But this is an 1883 O MS63 proof like Morgan dollar, and the reason why I bought it is because it has this toning on it, although not the most attractive toning. Um, it really pops out because uh, proof likes are extremely hard uh, to find with toning. Um, they just to don't tone as easily as others. And um, speaking of not toning as easily as others, um, based on the silver content of something, you'll know and, and find out here shortly, um, especially with American Silver Eagles, um, they don't tone, Morgan Dollars don't tone uh, as easy as Silver Eagles because they don't have as much silver content. Um, and so uh, I, I received like 10, 15 people saying that my American Silver Eagle from a few videos back is artificial. And I'm just going to say stick around and wait to see what PCGS says because they're going to say it's 100% authentic. 
because Silver Eagles have more silver content than Morgan Dollars, which allows them to go through the toning process faster. So you guys are going to be able to see that. Um, and you guys could watch out for that video because we're going to be coming out with it soon, um, as soon as PCGS uh, returns our order. But like I said, guys, if you ever see a proof like with some toning on it that's not extremely ugly, I would go for it. Um, this coin has some rainbows. It also has that unique character of this blue and green on the face, which many people uh, might enjoy. And so it was worth taking the plunge on. We didn't have uh, a coin show this weekend, but we did have a few great eBay, uh, eBay opportunities, and we ended up pulling the trigger on this one. Last but not least, it's going to be a little bit hard to get this one in the, f on the frame, but um, we received a few coins from our friend Mark Hewling on uh, Facebook. Uh, as, as you guys know, lately we've been buying a lot of coins. Let me uh, adjust this a little bit here. Um, we've been buying a lot of coins. Uh, let me just crack this out here. But we've been buying some coins from people um, on Facebook, on Instagram, but mainly there's been a lot of people on YouTube. You guys have been reaching out to us saying, hey, I have coins that I want to sell. Um, I'm not necessarily a dealer. I'm mainly a collector. But there's there's been some back backlog. There's been some things that uh, I've been wanting to get rid of for a long time, but I don't really trust the eBay process, and I don't trust a random stranger online. And so, as a dealer, I completely understand that. And me being basically 100% online for my sales, um, I constantly take emails, messages. Um, and so if you guys are ever interested in selling anything uh, to me or my brother, we are always happy to talk to you guys. Uh, message us on our website. Click the little message icon bottom right. Message us, message us on Instagram, Acoustic Collectibles. Message me on Facebook, Drew Haddock. Um, we are always willing to talk to you guys about your collections, helping you either consign them, sell them, um, anything that you guys want in terms of avenue. We are always there for you. But let's jump back into this last coin. This is an 1881cc Carson City Morgan Dollar. It's got a little bit of an unattractive toning to it. Um, but once again, if you find the right, the right deal on a coin um, and you know the margin in it, um, pull the trigger. Um, that unattractive toning does take away from the value of it. Um, but Mr. Mark said, hey, I found this for a great price. I want to give it to you for a great price. And so... I am actually going to end up uh, selling this for a great price also. So uh, it's a really nice trickle down effect with this coin. Um, the little bit unfortunate part about this um, is when it was in the shipping process, um, it did crack. Uh, I guess USPS uh, doesn't care, but uh, they just start throwing stuff and trunking stuff. And sometimes it's good to double or triple wrap something uh, like a Carson City because a lot of this stuff is a little bit more fragile. Um, but thank you guys for watching uh, this video today. Thank you guys for participating, leaving likes, comments, everything. It really does uh, make our day to see you guys uh, be so excited about the future for this channel and for our business. If you guys uh, aren't subscribed yet, I would highly recommend it. We're making videos every single week. So um, thank you guys once again for watching uh, this part of the video. And let's cut to the outro. Did you guys enjoy today's video? If you did, leave a like. Um, if you guys want to uh, join us on our journey uh, as coin dealers and as people giving out uh, knowledge for free uh, in the numismatic space, uh, make sure to subscribe. And uh, if you're new, comment down below who you are. Uh, we love to reach out to you, talk to you. If you guys ever have anything to sell or want to buy anything, please reach out to us at acousticcollectibles.com.